Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. I'm Steve. And I'm Gary, and uh, today we're going to take a look at a really cool feature in Windows 7. It's going to allow you to change your desktop background automatically. Uh, Windows 7 has a feature that's going to automatically change your background every few minutes or every half hour, or every, and really you can pick your own. And uh, it's, it really helps to just freshen up your background and change things around for you. Now the good news is this is built into Windows 7 and Windows Vista. If you were using XP, you were always stuck with trying to find some third-party download that would do this for you, but with Windows 7 and Windows Vista, you're all set. And the coolest part about it is you can pick your own pictures. And today, that's what we're going to show you on the computer. We're going to show you how to take your pictures, put them, set them up as your desktop background, and let Windows switch them for you whenever you want. So today, we're going to take a look at the computer and show you how to do that right now. Let's go there. Okay, our first step is to get to our boring old desktop that we currently have. Right click and select personalize from the resulting menu. Now, under arrow themes, we have all these different options for wallpaper. We can do architecture, characters, landscapes, nature, etc. I'm going to go ahead and pick landscapes. We get a really cool dramatic sound indicating that our theme has changed. And now, if you look at the background here, we have all this great landscape photogra photographs that uh, are going to cycle through. Now, what if you want to use your own pictures? That would be even cooler, wouldn't it? Well, you can. Go down here to where it says Desktop Background. Go ahead and click that, and it'll bring you up onto this next screen here. Now, it's going to ask for the picture location right up here at the top. I'm going to go ahead and hit Browse. Just so happens I put a folder with a few pictures on the desktop, so that's right here. I'm going to click that, hit OK, and here's my three pictures. Now. Right now there's only three, but you can select as many pictures. If you have a folder from your family vacation, you have 200 pictures in there, you can have it go ahead and cycle through all those photos and you'll have a really cool uh, reminder of your vacation every time you look at your desktop. Um, there's a few options down here you might want to look at too. Picture position, uh, the first one is fill, fit, stretch, tile, and center. Generally, I want to hit fit. The reason for that is that it will force the photograph to fit on the screen. It won't. Uh, It'll, it'll, it'll look a lot more natural when you do that. It'll, it'll look the way you shot it. Uh, the next option here is to change your picture every, and then it has 10 seconds, 30 seconds, minute, all the way up to one day. Default is 30 minutes, but if you, I, I'd rather have it every hour, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to one hour. And I can also select shuffle so that the pictures that I have in this folder are displayed randomly. Once I'm all done, go ahead and hit save changes, exit out of the screen, and uh, that's it. Wow, wasn't that awesome? I tell you what, Windows 7 and Windows Vista really do pack in the features, and, and that's something that, you know, is just real simple, but, I, you know, it's something that you can do and really make the computer your own. Um, you know, and as always, if you're using Windows XP, uh, we do have an alternative for you. Uh, go to the written part of this tip, and there's a link there to a download that we have that will allow you to have very similar functionality, and, and it'll, it'll make you feel like you're not missing out on something. All right, that's about it for today. Again, we want to thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, stop by our website. Uh, go to worldstart.com uh, uh, slash ask. We'll put the link down there since I can't seem to say it. Um, make sure you sign up for our Computer Tips newsletter. We have all these videos, all these great tips are delivered every day right to your inbox. So uh, head over to the site, enjoy, and thanks for watching.